inspirational and I think sad at the same time as well because yesterday I learned for the first time that the western black rhino has been officially declared as extinct and when I read it for the first time it really sent a shockwave through my body because even though we don't see rhinos every day we hear about the poaching problem and and just the fact that now one of the species are extinct um, it just it's it, it's a reality yeah, that's, that's it is a where reality. we are heading basically look I look at this and I think another majestic or majestic animal that we are without but it doesn't mean that we have to sit back and relax there's still so much that we can do in order to save some of our other species and a young South African that's taking this fight to the streets with such an inspiring and also encouraging story take a look Rhino poaching is still at an all-time high, but the people of South Africa are fighting back and one eight-year-old is doing her part. I watched on TV and then my daddy showed me the channel and then we saw the rhinos, the poachers came and shot the rhino. I felt scared and worried about I wrote a letter to President's mom. I said, dear President's mom, please look after our rhinos and please tell the poachers our rhinos are not medicine. President's mom emailed me and he said he was very happy that I wrote a letter. And then he, he went to the editor and then they interviewed me. Whose handwriting is this? It's mine. And how do you feel that your letter is in the newspaper? I'm really happy. A FIFA campaigned tirelessly to help the plight of rhinos, and Sandparks took notice of her passion and commitment to the cause. Sandparks gave me a good award. I got a certificate and 20,000 money. We give it to the people who are looking after the rhinos. Do you think this is going to help the rhinos of FIFA? Uh, I think, yeah. For her selfless work, Afifa was invited to City Hall to receive an award for children in philanthropy. Her award is for her bravery and dedication in supporting the fight against rhino poaching and showing that often the smallest voices speak the loudest. I am very, very sad because the poachers are still killing our rhinos. We all need to take a stand to say, enough is enough. Rhino poaching is your responsibility, my responsibility. Rhino poaching is our responsibility. Thank you. Afifa has taught us that no matter how small you are, you can make a difference in the world. And every South African should feel inspired to do their part in protecting these beautiful animals before it's too late. Wow, that really yeah. gives you goosebumps just watching that. The very young Afifa Patel. And we have a live on the line this morning as well. Afifa, good morning. Are you there? Hi, Afifa. Hi there. Who am I speaking to? Yeah. There, Afifa, how are you doing this morning? Hi. Wow, I must say congratulations on that incredible, phenomenal speech and your award at the City Hall. How do you feel? I feel very happy, but I'm still very sad because the poachers are still killing our rhinos. Sure, that is that is so nice, Afifa. Just to to know that you are so young yet you are taking such a big stand against such a big problem. Now tell me, you donate uh, donated a lot of the money that you that you got as well to the cause for rhino poaching. Um, didn't you even want to keep a little bit for yourself at least? Okay. <laughs> Shame. Uh, uh, FIFA, I'm asking, you donated all that money you got to the rhino poaching. Did you ever think of keeping maybe a little bit for yourself or was it from the beginning you thought, you know what, I'm going to give everything to the rhinos? Yes, I wanted to give it to save all the rhinos in the world. Uh -huh. And uh, FIFA, tell me quickly, what do you want to say to all the poachers out there? Because you have a very strong message. I want to tell the presidents in the whole wide world to tell the poachers 
please do not hurt our rhinos because our rhinos are not medicine. Um, Ilana, I think it really just this just warms your heart. I, I couldn't, to I couldn't hear her, but uh, you know, just uh. seeing her do that speech, and you know, it just shows mm. such a little person but making such significant change. Mm. So no matter how small you are or how little you think you're contributing, I think mm. it makes a huge difference. Mm. Uh, Fifa, can can we quickly we quickly, quickly speak to your dad? Yes. Thank you. There she is. Okay. Sh Hello. Shiraz, are you there? Yes, sir. Good morning. How are you, Shiraz? That's good and well, it's good to you and also Expresso viewers across the country and all watching the show. You must be incredibly proud seeing your daughter standing there at City Hall with her name on the big screen and she's delivering this powerful message. I mean, I think naturally I, we are proud. Um, as parents, we will be proud. But I think the, the pride would really, really set in once we basically yeah. um, unearth all the silent rhino warriors and champions and people from all mm -hmm. over the world. Um, to take a stand against the senseless killing of rhinos. Mm. Now, it seems like your whole family is so supportive of the fight against rhino approaching. Spe specifically, um, Afifa, how did she learn to love rhino so much? Uh, I think she grew up in the Kruger National Park. Um, she visits it quite often. And um, I think over this last uh, year and a half, there's been very much a um, military presence in terms of mm -hmm. um, helicopters circling the air, mm -hmm. as well as the poaching pictures in the rest camps. And I think a curiosity asks about why, um, why is there blood on this rhino's mouth? Why is there um, all this policing that is coming through? So I think a, your curiosity stems from there. And I think um, various um, media coverage of um, individuals who are caught um, with poaching. Mm. Shiraz, thank you so much for joining us on the line as well, you and Afifa, and thank you so much to you and your whole family for working so hard to save and protect our rhinos. We really appreciate it. Thank you very much, and um, uh, good morning to all your listeners. Thank you okay, so much. Well, a really good story there. Huh? That's amazing. Well, we said it earlier, no matter how small you are, you can make a significant change and also a really big difference.